I guess, how did it go today? <laughs> you know, it was, uh, we, we got some, uh, we got some work done, but it was more about, man, we kept about 10 guys inside and we spent about half the practice walking through, really. Um, once they came out to just walking through uh, fits and things defensively, offensively, making sure we understood the packages. And the young quarterbacks got to throw a lot of skelly. So uh, that, that was good work. But uh, kept it real short and uh, had a lot of coaches leave. And, um, you know, I just think it's that time of year that I got to make sure our team's as healthy as we can be and, and that we understand what we're, what we're trying to do. And we got some of that. And we got some more special team work than more special situations that have not come up yet that hopefully we'll be ready for if they do. There was new legislation passed today. Uh, we were just talking with you about it. What are your, yeah. your thoughts about the the dead period in the summer, the, the extended yeah. dead period in the in December, January? Uh, the other ones? You know, I voted yes for all for both the dead period deals. Um, I actually preferred to have one in the summer a little bit longer than I think what was passed. I hadn't seen all the the, uh, the final verdict on all of it, but I trust y'all have. So um, I, I, I'm for it. I, I think it's uh, you know to me. I, I think recruiting obviously it's the lifeblood, and, and we're go after it as hard as anyone. I do think that uh, families suffer sometimes. I think that the families of the recruits get tired of it, uh, the way we go about it, because we're all so persistent. There's no one bad at it, and, and everyone's gonna gonna do everything you can during those times that we're allowed to. So, I think to have periods where it is shut down um, and no one can be on campus, and I assume you're still allowed during that time uh, one phone call per week. I, again, I hadn't seen everything, but that's that's enough. Uh, during those times, and I think it will keep everybody a little fresher, and um, maybe we can pay more attention to our own kids, and maybe the families that we're recruiting don't get quite so tired of us during those times. And then the summer one is, I think, really good because it had gotten to where it was hard to even get off of campus because um, you're going to get a call, hey, this kid's coming, man, can you go? You got to go meet them, and you know, you just never felt like you could uh, really just totally get away from it. So um, it may not be popular with all coaches, but it is with me. I think it's good for, for my for my priorities. I think it fits kind of in line with what I think. Speaking of summer, you get now, I guess, some more time actually with the players, including a little bit of film review each week. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much we will take advantage of the film, but the eight hours that Paul now can make mandatory, if that's what's passed, and the fact that now, since we do have that time, we can um, hold them more accountable on the little things that I think really matter, um, as far as um, whether it's academics or social things or, or issues that may arise, uh, we now have some freedom to, to be with them, to, to hold them even more accountable, which I think is very much needed. So I think that's a very sensible rule that uh, probably I, I can't imagine anybody not being for that. They asked you guys, I guess in the past, coaches have been almost felt pressured to go to those all-star games. Yeah. You're no longer allowed to be there. Yeah, I voted like for that. that one also. I just, uh, last year, the, the I did not go, but we sent a group of coaches and uh, was, was on the phone with them quite pretty much the whole time they were there. And um, I don't know that anybody really enjoyed that atmosphere a whole lot and probably wasn't very fair to the families that came to enjoy an all-star experience. And, uh, as soon as they get back, it, it was pretty chaotic. Probably everybody's trying to get their, their time with the family. And um, I think we, out of respect for them and respect for the whole process, that uh, because there's so many highly talented recruits there, you're going to have so many colleges there. And they're not just going to send one coach. And uh, when it gets back, everybody's pulled in different directions. And I just thought it. For me, I think that's a good move too, that uh, they would let those families and those kids enjoy that time with themselves and not have to worry about what's gonna happen when they get back to their, their hotel or, or wherever they're staying. So, um, and it was kind of a, a difficult deal for us having a bowl game around that time. You know, we had to split, we had, we had practice without some of our coaches. And uh, so I think that's a good, good rule too. I like all those that passed.